with you today to give us a recorder lesson. It might have been a little while since you've played your recorder, and so let's just review the three basic notes that we have learned. First, we need to remember it's always our left hand, the one that makes the L facing us, that should go on the top of our recorder. Now, the lowest note that we've learned has our three fingers placed tightly over the holes and our thumb on the back. Do you remember what note this is? That's right, if you've said G, that is correct. G, the green note, is the lowest note, and it should sound like this. Repeat after me. Remember, if you get squeaking, there's two things that could be going wrong. First of all, your fingers may not be quite covering the holes, so check those. And you may be blowing too soft or too hard. That can cause squeaking. So make sure that you have just a little bit of your recorder right in your mouth. And blow nice and softly. Very good. Now, if we remove our bottom finger, we have just two fingers down. Who remembers what this note is called? That's right, A or La, it's the blue note. Let's do some rhythms on this note. Lovely job. Remember, if you want to do fast notes, we want to use our tongue to stop the note in between. Very good. Now, of course, the easiest note that we learned was the very first one, the one that we have just our thumb and our first finger. Do you remember what that note is called? Of course, B. This is the note that we always color purple and that lives on the third line. Let's just play a little bit using these three notes. Try and repeat after me. Very good. If you had trouble with that, just go back to the beginning of the video and repeat it as many times as you need to because now we're going to learn two new notes and these notes are higher notes. All right, remember, our left hand is still on top, but this time our next new note is gonna be played with our second finger on the second hole and our thumb in its place on the top. This is called high C or do and we color it red. It lives on the space right above B, okay? And it should sound like this. Repeat after me if you have put your fingers in the pla right place. Fantastic job. That one should have been just easy. And the next one is even easier. All we have to do is take off our thumb. So we just have our middle finger on the second hole. This is high D. It should sound like this. Repeat after me. I'm sorry, that was high C. Now you can hear the difference. High C. High D. Just by moving your thumb, we have changed the pitch of our note. So let's play some high Ds without our thumb. And 
And the last one. Fantastic. Now what we're going to do is practice moving between the two notes. First, every time we want to see a new exercise, we need to follow these three steps. Step one, clap and say note names. So let's do that with this exercise. One, two, ready, go. D, D, C, C, D, C, D, C. Very good. Step number two. In practice position, move fingers and say note names. Remember, our practice position is right under our chin, but we want to be practicing with our fingers in place. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. D, D, C, C, D, C, D, C. Very good. If your thumb was off on the D and on on the C, you're doing it properly. Now let's try and play the exercise. One, two, ready, go. How did you do? If you still had trouble, go ahead and rewind this video back just a little bit and practice it as many times as you need. But if you're ready to move on, Let's go on to the song that we're going to play today called Bernat Bernat. This time I'd like you to try doing this song by yourself, taking a chance to do each step. I'll do it afterwards, but you pause the video, try the step, and then do it together with me to see if you've done it properly. If you haven't, no worries, just go back and try it again. So pause the video and do step number one. You've completed it, let's try it together and see if we've done the same thing. One, two, ready, go. C, C, D, C, 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 D, C, 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 D, C, 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 D, C. And if you noticed, there's a special sign at the end of the song. Did you remember the name of it? That's right, it's called the repeat sign. So when you finish, you'd go right back to the beginning. Very good. Now stop the video and try step number two. How did it go for you? You practice moving your fingers? Let's see if you've done the same thing as I have. We should start with our thumb on it. One, two, ready, go. C, C, D, C. C, C, D, C, 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 D, C, 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 D, C. Very good. Stop the video again and try step number three. How has it gone for you? Let's see if you've played the same thing as I have. One, two, ready, go. That's just one time through the song, but of course, we should always make sure we do the repeat. Well, if you need to keep practicing this song, just go back. You can always play along with me, or you can practice it on your own. And when you think you've got it finished and ready to go, send me a video of you playing it so that I can see and hear how well you're doing. I hope you're having a fantastic time at home. Keep learning, practicing, and join me again for your next recorder lesson very soon. Take care. Thank you.